Okay, welcome back here. We're going to look at a couple of problems, uh, again, on point estimates. Uh, here, still looking at point, esti point estimate of a mean and point estimate of a standard deviation. So we've got um, a population of five households, number of children per household. So we're going to look at average number of children and standard deviation of uh, number of children. So here we have the population parameters, population mean and standard deviations, 2.8 and 1.3. So, uh, part A, using a simple random sampling method, we have a sample of only two households, C and D. So we have uh, our first sample is size n equals 2, and we want to calculate the point estimate of the mean and standard deviation. So our mean here, I'm going to denote this sub, uh, subscript A because we're working on part A. Uh, the formula here, of course, we just add together all of our observations and divide it by the number that we have. So this is i equals 1 through n. In part a, our sample size is only 2, ridiculously small, uh, but uh, makes these calculations a little bit easier for us to do. So our sample here is only c and d. So I'm only going to look at these two. So this is 4 plus 3 divided by 2. So that's 7 divided by 2. This is going to be 3.5. So there's x bar for a is 3.5. So that's our best guess. That's our point estimate of this mean. As you can see, we're off. We're off by a little bit. Um, but given a small sample of two observations, um, that's the best that we can do, 3.5. Now let's look at the um, sample standard deviation. So for this one, our formula, we need to add together all of these squared deviations from the mean. Uh, we divide by n minus 1 and take the square root of that. Now, again, we only have two observations, so even this sometimes long and tedious calculation uh, won't be too bad. So what I need to do here, I'm looking at these individual observations. So this is 4. We subtract off that mean, so 4 minus 3.5. We square that, and we do that for each of our observations. So here I only have two, so there's four is done. Now the next one is plus three, minus that and point estimate of the mean squared. We then divide that by n minus one, so we only have two observations, so two minus one. And then we take the square root of all that. Oops. So here, let's, uh, let's get the calculator. We only have a small sample, so I can probably do this in one, one stretch. When you've got a larger sample size, you might want to break up this calculation into a few intermediate steps just to avoid uh, silly errors. But let's uh, see what we can do here. So 4 minus 3.5. So I'm using brackets here. Squared plus, uh, open some brackets, 3 minus 3.5. Close those brackets and square that. So there's a quarter plus a quarter. So there's the numerator is 0.5 divided by 2 minus 1, so divided by 1, and take the square root of that. That's going to round to about 0.71, so 0.71. So there's my standard deviation for part A is 0.71. Still a little ways off of the population standard deviation, but sample size of only 2 is going to be uh, fairly limiting in its accuracy. And actually, we're going to look at that sampling distributions uh, uh, just in a little bit later. Part B, uh, using the same uh, random sampling method. Here now we're going to look at a somewhat larger uh, sample, A, B, D, and E. So now we're going to look at uh, A, B, D, and E. So let's calculate, using that same method, let's calculate the point estimate of the mean. So we're going to use this same formula here. I'm going to add up all of my observations. 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4. So that's each of these. Divide by, I have 4 observations. And so here we have 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 4. So I have an estimate of 2.5. And there's my point estimate of the mean, x bar is 2.5. So yeah, we're getting closer now. 
of course I'm using four out of the five elements in this sample so you know as that sample size grows well it looks like we're getting a lot uh, more accurate with with our estimates uh, for the sample standard deviation now this one will be a little bit longer I might do intermediate steps uh, for this one we're going to use again the same formula here but now I have to calculate four of these squared differences and add them together, right? Again, because I have these four observations. So now our sample mean is two and a half. So here I'm gonna start, start at the top with this one. So this is two minus two and a half squared. And then next one is one minus two and a half squared plus, oh, we don't do that, four, that's the one we missed out, three minus two and a half squared plus and the last one here is four minus two and a half squared so we square those deviations we add them all together we divide by n minus one so here n is equal to four four minus one and then we'll take the square root of all of that so let's see if I can squeeze this in here I'm running out of room uh, let's get our calculator out here. Okay, let me see. Right there is good. Okay, so I'm going to open brackets. I'm going to do all of this in one step again, just because it's still just four observations. So hopefully it won't be too bad. So two minus two point five square bracket. Uh, close the brackets and square that. Plus open that bracket. One minus two point five close the bracket and square that, plus open another bracket, 3 minus 2.5, square that, plus open that bracket, 4 minus 2.5, close it and square it. So there's the numerator there, I have 2.25, I'm going to divide that, 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 and a half, and finally, last step, I'm going to take the square root of that, and there I have 1.87. 1.87. So there's my estimate of the population standard deviation. Well, we're still a little bit off as far as uh, the true population standard deviation, but uh, again, that's the best that we can do with our, our four observations. So, so there you have it, our, our estimates, our point estimates of the means, point estimates of uh, standard deviations. Notice they certainly change based on what sample we take. So anytime we take a sample from any finite or infinite distribution, those point estimates are always going to change depending on just exactly what sample we get. And uh, so coming up a little bit later on in the series of videos, we're going to look at the distributions uh, of, of sampling. So that'll be, uh, I don't know, something to look forward to. Is that maybe you're not looking forward to it, but something else to watch a little bit later. Okay, good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.